Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Henry, the general of Goose, 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 Goose. I don't know. Uh, we're not going to pronounce it right, no matter what. <laughs> but we're checking out one of the beers that I brought back from my trip to GBG Beer Week in 2019. Mm -hmm. Great trip. We're checking out the official GBG Beer Week beer for 2019. Yep. I've reviewed every single one so far. My favorite is still the first one. That was awesome from Steve Bates. Uh, but the others have been very nice as well. And this one is from Vega Boyerly, which is a brewery in Gothenburg I haven't had much beer from. I had some over in Gothenburg this time around. And this is their Goodness Gracious IPA. So they were asked to do the official GBG Beer Week beer this year, and it's another IPA. It was an IPA the first time, second time, especially an IPA, third time sour, and then uh, an IPA again. And this is a, a grape must IPA. So it's made with grape must, and it's hopped with uh, Nelson Sullivan, Holotop Blanc, and Citra, and it's also got some Magnum, which I guess is for bittering. And yeah, 6%, and it, I think it was Marisada Extra Pale Malt, Carapils, Caragold, something like that, the malt back one. They have a video where they just talk about all this that's in there, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, I hope it's fun to try it. So, who is a very Straight. pale color? What would you call it? Grape colored. Grape colored. Straw yellow or something like that. Yeah. Lightly hazy too. I don't think it's supposed to be like a New England IPA, but yeah, somebody got some haze. Nice and that's white head, let's check out the aroma. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got like this dry, vinous, kind of mm -hmm. white wine esque character it to it. Smells like grape show. Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, I th and I think that's why they chose to use Hanato Blanc and Nelson. Because mm -hmm. those hops are great forward. Yeah. But it's nice, it's like, it smells like a nice, easygoing IPA that most people can enjoy. Yeah, very. And it's what they say they aim for as well, like making a beer that most people can enjoy. I mean, it's, it's like crazy. It's on 6% right, but it, yeah. it smells like like really sessionable. Yeah. Honest. I'm getting a little bit of passion fruit and pineapple as well. Yeah. But it smells nice. A little bit of sweet malt. Let's try it. Yeah. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's pretty decent. Yeah, nice session beer. Mm. Uh, Ooh, Even though it's 6% is super drinkable. It has like this dry vanilla grape quality. Yeah. A little bit of sweet malt character. A bit fruity. That's yeah. Nice. It's like this white grape, mm. slightly gooseberry character you get from Nelson. Dusty white grape or something like yeah. that. And then just the slightest hints of tropical fruit, like mm. pineapple. Yeah. Maybe a bit of lime or lemon. But it's it's like, it tastes like a session IPA, actually. It does. It, 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 like the 6% is nowhere. I mean, it tastes like a 4% beer. Mm-hmm. Not super carbonated, very thick mouthfeel. Mm. It's nice. It's not something that's like, like going to blow your mind. Mm. But it's, I, I think it's, nice. it seems, it's a beer that I think pretty much everyone would enjoy. I think it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah, that's what they set out. Uh, spread the word about GBG Beer Week and, mm. and GBG as a great beer city, making a beer that most people can enjoy. I think the first one was probably the most like intense and expressive of all the beers, but that was also a bit crazy. Mm. It was like New England IPA, super hot. Maybe it's not... Compared to New England IPA, IPAs today, it was probably not as crazy. No. Uh, it was like one of the first in Europe. And then I think the others have been in a similar vein. Like it's been beers that most people can enjoy. Good yeah. introductory beers to craft beer. It's a very Swedish beer. Sweetish. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> no. It's just, it's for everyone basically. Ah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, I, I think it's enjoyable. I'm going to go like in mm. 86, 87? Yeah. It's nice, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Worth a shot for sure. I mean, it's, nice. this is, I think this goes all over Sweden. So go down to your local Systembolag, or maybe they also have it at Glassbanken, and order yourself some GBG Beer Week 2019 from Vega. Nice stuff. Mm. Uh, check out Vega as well. They have a few other uh, beers that are very nice as well. And they're based in uh, in Gothenburg in uh, what they call Ring Ön. I think maybe that's a little bit outside. I'm not entirely sure. There's some whole, a whole area. Mm. Which is called Vega, I believe. Or at least when we walk there. And also, there's an area called Linne. Linne? Yeah, it sounds like Peter Linne. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything was called something with Linne. And it was just like, <laughs> Peter Plinne. It was like, I kept snapping him, like, oh, shit, man, do you have a second bit, a second life or something? Owning all these shops <laughs> you owe everything. in Gothenburg. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's nice, terrible stuff. So, if you guys had a chance to try the 2019 GBD Beer Week Goodness Gracious IPA by Vega, let us know what you thought of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe to the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. cheers we'll see you guys in another beer review.